Hey gang, uh, I just really would like to share this video with uh, you guys today. It's a, a, a extremely rare opportunity to uh, be able to uh, watch a baby, I mean watch a uh, female ruby-throated hummingbird uh, build a nest, lay her eggs, hatch them, uh, care for them, feed them, and all the way to the watch them, you know, fly and fledge away from their nest. Uh, it's very, very rare. Uh, it's well, I'm I'm 67 years old. This is the very first hummingbird nest I'd ever seen. So it's very rare. Very few people get to witness this. We were lucky enough that it was just right outside our kitchen window, so that we could watch it. Uh, as much as we wanted to every day so very very uh, honored to be able to witness this um, the uh, female started building a nest on an extension cord uh, to a, a security camera we have on our on our uh, porch uh, she used a spider web net spider webs um, moss other materials to uh, weave this little tiny nest to make a little tiny cup it's very tiny uh, I've seen pictures with people holding a nickel inside the, the nest and it just probably would fit in that's how small it is they say the uh, eggs are about the size of a navy bean that's not very big but um, <clears throat> it was, uh, uh, we got to, you know, see her. She came to feed, uh, oh, maybe three or so times per hour for most of the day. Uh, she worked on her nest for about seven days, maybe eight. Uh, then she laid an egg, and then... Uh, about two days later she laid her second egg and uh, she had to sit on them a lot not a hundred percent of the time but she did sit on a whole lot for uh, about seven eight days uh, no 14 days uh, till they they hatched and the whole time that she was sitting on the, the nest that she would go out and get more material and keep continue to work on that nest to make it bigger and uh, you could tell a big difference in the size of the nest in that two week period. But uh, she had to sit on her babies for oh, about four to five days, a whole lot to keep them warm till they got their little um, hairy type feathers that they grow in uh, early to help keep them warm. And then uh, they'll start growing uh, their more permanent feathers and they will groom each other, removing the the uh, first uh, type feathers that they grew to keep warm, they have to remove all that so that makes room for their permanent feathers because they have to have that before they can uh, be ready to fly. So they uh, uh, take about 14 days to hatch and then it's about 21 days from the time they hatch till they ready to fly and uh, they will uh, exercise their wings and, and flap them uh, two, three days before they're ready to fly so that they can get their their strength built up and get prepared, you know preparing to be ready to fly. Uh, if you'll notice them squirming in that nest, you'll see it stretch and flex and then uh, return to its original size. Uh, that's because it's a very tiny nest and they really fill it up and uh, need the room so uh, here's how they use the bathroom you can see this and get its tail up above the edge of the nest and it'll squirt its business over the edge and they keep their nest clean they do not nasty it up so uh, after they fledge and leave the nest it's it's ready to go for another uh, another brood if she wants to do it but there's where I'm talking about this 
flapping their wings and practice that flying and when you say uh, learning to fly. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and if you like it, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, please subscribe and uh, uh, ring that bell so you can be notified when we have more videos posted. So uh, as uh, we're getting ready to watch this baby bird fly away from its nest, so we just uh, say thank you all very much for watching and, and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.